Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a number of drum enhancers should you wish to add a new colour to your drum sound. Today we have a variety of products from LP, Aruga Percussion, Rim Riser, Mr Muff and Big Fat Snare Drum. If you enjoy these videos then please don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. Also, for all the latest drum news and special features, check out drummersreview.com. Adding a sound enhancer can be a cheap and quick way of changing the timbre of a drum and lifting your sound to another level for any gig or recording. LP Raw Sound Enhancers are three lightweight products with prices starting from £17.10 to spice up your sound easily and quickly that can be attached to most triple flanged hoops via magnets. We have the Raw Sound Enhancer Shaker and Jingle which rest on the drum head and vibrate up and down when the drum is struck. Alongside these we have the Raw Sound Enhancer Snare which has 16 11cm snare wires that rest against the top of the batter head. The shaker adds a gated shimmer to the snare when struck hard. It's not overly audible under the mic, but where this really comes into its own is when the snares are turned off or when placed on a floor tom, where the rattle is much more prominent. Once in position, the jingle enhancer instantly makes us smile, adding a bright, subtle jingle to each backbeat. Finally, the snare enhancer really dries up your regular snare sound, whilst adding an electronic gated type vibe. Again, this was much more effective when placed on a tom for an extra timbre, giving a low dirty buzz effect. With all three providing a useful colour to the drum, we can see drummers and percussionists adding one of these to their gig bag and could see two of these used in conjunction with other dampening aids for that more electronic sampled sound. Aruga Percussion from Argentina have produced a variety of percussion add-ons and today we have a selection of three of them. The small sleigh bells, a medium jingle and a distor chain effect. First up we have the small sleigh bell version, measuring approximately 18cm long. This contains 24 mini sleigh bells in clusters of four. Attaching to the rim we got a metallic bark due to its small size and the quieter nature of the bells. Next up is the medium jingle which is two small jingles linked together. They added a very loud distinctive tambourine ching to each backbeat and also mutes the snare for a dry electro type vibe. 
With any medium model, they are easy to unlink and you get an extra plastic link that is designed to make a hoop so that it can be placed around the bell of any symbol. Both models stayed in position securely with no issues whatsoever, which can be a concern when held in place by small magnets, even when played loudly. They react to the slightest stroke and are easy to add and remove in seconds. A point to note is that these models won't attach to die cast hoops, but Aruga do suggest a quick fix on their YouTube channel. Finally, we have the chain effect, which is a 30 cm chain with two plastic clips at either end to attach to most types of counter hoop, and the jingle can be added or removed for texture. The only issue we had was that you would need to be careful where you place the chain, as it could impede some of your strokes, so may require you adjusting your technique. It gives a very industrial sound that we think records quite well. The big fat snare drum range of accessories have been a staple of studio and live drummers equipment for a number of years. Here today we have the snare barine and the donut, both in 14 inch sizes, with UK prices of 44 and 30 pounds respectively. The snare barine instantly turns a 5.5 inch depth drum to give the sound of an 8 inch depth drum. It produces a deeper, drier tone but with the added bonus of a subtle jangle of four pairs of tambourine jingles. This brightens the timbre and adds a nice colour to any drum that it's placed on. A really useful addition to every drummer's toolbox, whether it be live or for studio work. Finally, we have the donut model. This is made out of the same material, but with a six inch hole cut out of the centre, so that you can still strike the drum's batter head. This doesn't lower the tone but gives a greatly muted or gated sound. This can be used in conjunction with other models for even more sonic possibilities.
The Mini Muff by Mr. Muff is a 6 cm externally mounted dampening effect to control overtones for that softer 70s vibe. It is simply clipped onto the hoop and has a weighted fluffy pad that can be flipped up and kept in place by a sewn in magnet. There is a velcro strip that can be adjusted to move the position of the Mini Muff closer to the rim if preferred. It slightly jumps up when playing the snare hard, but this is by no means a negative. In recording terms, you could say it acts like an acoustic gate. It's compatible with double and triple flanged hoops, as well as die cast hoops. The circular weighted disc can be removed if you want slightly less weight. In use, we loved it. It adds a dry, fat, rich tone, and with a UK price of $18.99, we think this is excellent value for money and an easy to throw in the gig bag option. Next up are two types of cross stick enhancer by Rimriser. Both of these products are designed to attach to the side of any drum to help project and give a clearer cross stick tone. It can be attached to any size drum and comes with a long tension rod and extra spacer and washers to attach it to the drum via a single tension rod. First up is the steel triple flange version, which has a UK recommended retail price of $16.99. In use, it felt good and does give a slightly different tone to the click, but because of its single point mounting, you may get issues with movement whilst playing. For the price, then we have to say it's a great little product. It certainly doesn't project the click as much as other models may, but it does give you a very solid sound. Moving on to the 30 ply maple cross stick enhancer, once in place, it gives a very comfortable, thick, and warm and precise cross stick. Coming in at £49.99, this is relatively expensive for something that will only enhance one aspect of your playing. But if you happen to be on a gig where you play a lot of cross sticks, then it's definitely worth considering spending the extra bit of money. One area where we do think these excel is when placed on smaller snares, such as 12 and 13 inch drums, as it does give you a more solid tone where previously it may have been a little weak. The rim riser cross stick enhances are both really easy to fit and raise the height of the drum rim, which means that you don't need to change your grip and you can keep your fingers wrapped around the stick. Whether you want to change the tone or colour of your drum or both, there are plenty of easy options to add to your drums with no modification. We would love to know your favourite in the comments below. Hit subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. And we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.